Banish the snakes from g and I've been waiting on this gorgeous solitaire focused game, although you can do co-op for quite some time. Uh, just off there you can see this is GMT and this cover when it came out really caught my interest. But just this beautiful, you know, gilded feel, the popping color, you know, it kind of feels almost stained glass or Gutenberg-esque. It's basically solitaire where you are St. Patrick going in and trying to uh, convert, convert the tribal folks of Ireland and in essence save or keep the West educated through the Dark or Middle Ages. So let's look at this box splash. Look at that. GMT's really brought up their artwork on the back of the box. That's just, that makes you, if you're picking this up on the shelf and looking at it, you can see the beautiful work done on the cards, the angle you're coming in on the map here, uh, seeing that you have blocks and, and a pawn, and just some very interesting, you know, tidbits coming in here so you get a feel for what you're playing as well. Not to mention, it looks like, what, what do we got a barn? We got homes? What is going on here? Your complexity level, solitaire maxed all the way to the top. Looking good. Let's get this shrink off. If I can get my nail through. So again, let's see what we got here. You can see it's a pretty thick box. All right. Nice rule book presentation right off the top. Huh. Very thin, approachable. How many pages are we talking? 13, whoop, nope. Okay, 14, 15 with some indexes and 16 with the back page, which looks like explanations of cards that are going to be in the game. Very nice. I like this wood feel to it as well or leather tome maybe i guess that's more like a faux leather that i'm i mean it's paper but it's just what it looks like all right playbook so gmt um has been doing just phenomenal work with their playbook so a playbook is going to uh you'll set up the game it'll tell you set it up in a certain way and then it will start to walk you through the turns generally i'm assuming that's what this playbook is doing Lots of verbiage here, so is it some history? Okay, historical background, which is where I'm at now, I was confused, and examples of play. So you're going to get lots of, histor of historical background. Where do our play examples come in? The Pope. Here we go. Here's your examples of play. So tons of historical, and then here we go. You're going to set this up. The map's going to look like so. You're going to then uh, take your first turn, and it will walk you through how that will work, what you will do. This is what the card says. You'll then do X, Y, and Z, and an influence diagram. That looks really interesting as well. Looks like your player board. So although this is designed solitaire, you can play it cooperatively as well. So, we'll see. Red, almost pinkish, a green, turquoise, some brown, wow, like a salmon. A little bit of a lime, mustard green, and white, okay. Oh, anyway. Ooh, what do we got here? Oh yeah, that's right. Sorry, I was thinking counters, and I forgot. We've already seen the wood blocks. These are stickers. So, much like Command and Colors, you're going to be spending a little bit of time when you first get this, putting the stickers on the blocks. I love blocks. Um, so, um, they make everything tactile and, and very visual, and the stickers then are super high quality, but you will be spending a little bit of time stickering the game. All right, we will come back and unfurl this very nice, thick board. Looks good. We'll come back to that in a second. We got the insert. We'll unshrink the cards here before we leave as well. We'll probably do that right before the unfurling. 
So here are some blocks that are probably going to receive stickers. We'll see. I would imagine control tokens maybe for different areas on the map. Again, we will unshrink and take a look at these beauties. One green die. You knew it had to be green. Had to be green. Wow, it's like a bishop. Huh. Okay, some more blocks that'll be stickered, but a lot of pawns. Huh. And whatever these are. Probably stickered as well. Okay. Insert. I always take a peek. Nothing underneath. All right, we'll get this out of the way. Um, let's look at the cards, and the last thing we will do is unfurl that map. All right, I'm centered up on the back of the event cards. Again, you can see this kind of gilded feel. It's almost like there's like that gold inlay in there, uh, and it's some kind of little tome, but it's just a little card. So what I'm going to do is just, if I can keep it from floating around, flip through these cards so you can get a good look at them. Um, and thickness-wise, they're fairly thin cards. They've got a nice finish on them, but this isn't like a linen finish or anything. Um, kind of a typical GMT card. Um, very nice. And sometimes the linen gets in the way of the photo. But I do like linen cards, or linen-looking cards. I'm just going to roll through these so you can take a look. Pause if you wanted to read anything further. I have no idea of what they do or how they work. I see there's maybe some flavor text at the top. And I do know these arrows are really cool because they're going to correspond with a card. Let me set one up over here. I think they do something like this, which is telling you, you know, what type of action is going on based on this color. I don't know that a whole lot. I remember, I think, reading or seeing something like that as the game was moving through production. But you'll see the arrow moving around a little bit as I lay these down and the color bar off to the side. Let me switch over. Maybe I'm shading too much coming in that way. I think I'm shading either way. So, less pictures. All right, there we go. Something a little more visual. Patrick. Hmm. Let me get the other cards. So you can see clearly a different look. And I can't read the stylized like Gutenberg script right here. I believe that's Saint. S I don't know. Start Saint. I don't know what that is. Saint of Start. <laughs> Pull this back off. We have Life of the Spirit, maybe, is what that is. Again, beautiful look. And then, and I'll flip these and show the other sides here in a little bit, but then you have these player aid cards as well, double-sided, that show the, that more, more larger, that larger photo on the back of the playbook or the rule book. I can't remember which. And there are, what, six of those? Interesting. So let's go through and look at the fronts of these cards. We'll start with Life Spirit. So let's see what we're looking at here. Again, I'm just going to flip these. Not knowing the rules or significance at this point. Make sure I keep them in frame. But again, the art style here feels very appropriate and period-esque. Love that shot. All right, we come in again. It's this card here, or that back. So these look like the saints again. They are. So I don't know what the difference is from those other cards to this. 
again, I love the color layout, how you've got these different sides. Very nice. And just because I'm zoomed in, let's spend a little bit more zoom time. Zoom time. I know I got to do the map still, but I wanted to come in a little bit on the stickers just so you can get a little more detail. If that doesn't show up well enough on video, I'll take some photos. Maybe this works, but if not, I'll take some photos and put them elsewhere up in the corners. So interesting. All right, let me back off and we'll unfurl the map. All right, I'm backed off a little bit, just so you can see the edge. We've obviously got the map of Ireland here and another little map here I'll have to look at and some other place keepers for cards. I will come up over top just so you can get a little bit more of the detail, but we can see the banner for Banish the Snakes here, and then the different, I don't know, tribal locations, kingdoms, fiefdoms. Let me come up over the top. So I'll move the map around a little bit, but you can get some good, very nice mountainous regions down here. Very nicely done. And we'll just show a little bit of what's going on over here as well. So, and you can see, so it folds out like so, and very high quality board map. Very nice. All right, Banish the Snakes, St. Patrick in Ireland. Looking forward to the solo play. See you guys.